Hey guys, this is a 5 minute overview of Node.js. First of all, what is it? Google created a JavaScript engine called V8 that runs inside the browser Chrome. A clever developer named Ryan Dahl had the idea to wrap V8 inside a runtime environment that is called Node.js or short Node. With this, V8 is not limited to the browser anymore. You can use it to create fast, scalable web applications like streaming apps, chats, online games, application programming interfaces, for instance, to retrieve database content, and many more. Now to get started developing Node.js applications, you need a development environment, I'm using VS Code, that you can get from this page. And then, of course, Node.js, that you can download here, there is a current version with the latest features, but I recommend to get the stable version for getting started. It is a regular setup that you can download and start. I'm using Windows OS, but it's platform independent. Then just go through the setup, nothing special. Be sure to add Node.js to the path. And on this page, you can decide whether to automatically install all necessary tools for Node or to follow the instructions on this page. I already installed it. Ok, now I press install to finish the installation. After that, I open a command prompt. Here I create a project directory first, change to this directory and if you want to know if node is installed correctly, you can type node minus minus version and here you can see I have version 12.18.1 installed. Now type code point to start VS Code in this folder. Awesome! And now we can create a new JavaScript file. I call it node demo one js And in this, we use the built-in console module and the method lock to write a text to the console. To start the script, open a new terminal and write node followed by the name of the script. Here we go. Ok, now let's extend this a bit. In JavaScript, you can use a for loop to execute code multiple times. In this example, I use the method pow to calculate the square number of the index variable i. After that, I write the result to the console and when you use this kind of quotation marks, you can add the variables you want to output to this kind of placeholders. Cool stuff. And here's the output. 10 lines with square numbers. The last one is 9 to the power of 2. Node.js offers many useful modules, console that we saw already, events and the file system or HTTP that you can use for instance to run an HTTP server or client. In the last example I show you how to use the read line module to get an input from the user. First I add this for loop to a function called do pow with a parameter that defines how often we are going to iterate. Then I import the module readLine by using the keyword require. I add this here to the top and then we can use it to create an interface so that the user can input something to the console. We get the user input by using the method question. The answer to the question to which number we want to calculate square numbers is stored in the parameter answer and this answer we use again as parameter when we call the function do power with it. Then comes the cleanup, we close the interface and destroy the standard output process. Ok, and when we start now, we can decide how often we want to calculate square numbers. Alright guys, I hope you liked this short introduction to Node.js. If you do and like my channel as well, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions, then add these to the comments below and I'll try to answer as best as I can. So see you soon here on JNM.